This is a brief overview of the fields that are in the taxonomic record for a scientific name and the information that can be found there. We're going to look at several examples of each of the taxon types. Let's take a look first at the American robin, which has the scientific name Turtus migratorius. And you'll note first, here is our scientific name, that it is a Linnaean name, that is its name type when it was created. And at this point, we can move around on this fairly extensive document by clicking classifications. And then we can again go back to the top. If we go here, we can go to maps, media, concepts, and so forth. We'll be looking at each of these various things. At this point, we could go into editing various elements of this. We will have other tutorials that will show how we go about doing that. The use of the name is now given for all of the collections that are using it. You will note that most of them are using Arctos as their primary source. They also, in some cases, have a secondary and even a third source. So if there is not a classification in their primary source, it will automatically default to the next source. If we want to simply make this smaller, we can click on the arrow. This is the external validation of the scientific name, and it looks at a number of different web services. This is the World Register of Marine Species, the Global Names Index, Wikipedia, Encyclopedia of Life, Zoo Bank, and the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. And in this case, all of them indicate that it has been found and therefore the consensus is that it would be valid. We can check to see whether or not our collection that we're logged into is using the scientific name in any of the identifications as the accepted one or even as a previous now unaccepted identification. This map shows all of the locations of geolocated specimens for all of the Arctos collections. If we wanted to pick on any of them, we can do that. We can actually go directly to the record if we have an interest in it, and the map itself can be manipulated larger and smaller. All of the media are indicated here with only the first 10 showing. The media gallery, which we can open, has 124 both audio and images associated with this taxon name. As we'll see below, Turtus migratorius is a valid name, so the synonym, if we were to go to that page, would show as an invalid name. You can also search for taxon names by common name. So if we were to search for American Robin, it would bring up this scientific name for us. We now move into the actual classifications for Turtus migratorius. And if we want to, we can refresh these global names to make certain we have the most recent information that has come out. We can say we really don't want to see anything but those that are local sources by clicking here, and we can refresh and bring them back by clicking pull global names. And we can create a classification if we need to create a new one. A local source is one that can be used as an identification in your catalog record. External sources cannot be used as a classification, but you can clone them into a local source if you want to use that classification. So in this case, if we look at Arctos, which was the one that was primarily used by the collections in Arctos, we see both the classification data and the metadata. In this case, our metadata includes a display name, which is automatically created by Arctos, the nomenclatural code, the, uh, the scientific name, source authority, and the taxon status. Let's take a closer look at the taxon term code table. As you can see at the top, a number of the names have next to it no, which indicates that they are part of the metadata and not part of the classification. The terms marked yes below are all of the ranks for the taxonomic terms. Looking at a different name, the Solenopsis Invicta, this is a Linnaean name as well, but we're into the invertebrate world. This is the fire ant. And you will notice that while there's the same structure, there's very few changes. In this case, there are no media. There is a synonym. However, it is not the valid one. In this case, the local sources change. We have an Arcto source and we have an AntWiki. 
And so if we were to look at the AntWiki, again, we see the same structure of all of the metadata, slightly different in this case because of the source authority and the same as far as classification goes. Moving out of the Linnaean systems and into the minerals, in this case, we've searched for quartz, which is a name type is mineral. And again, we can take a look at the, the same structure, no different in terms of what is included. However, there are only two local sources and no external sources in this case. And the structure is again, metadata followed by the actual classification. And lastly, if we are to look at a cultural taxonomy, we'll see the same general structure. Again, now the name type is cultural. Again, we look at the same sort of data around it. Our local source is a new one, nomenclature 4.0, and it also lists external sources as well. Lastly, we can search for all of the names that have been put into quarantine. There are 34 names currently in quarantine. Quarantine names are defined in the taxon table. So if we go to the taxon name type code table, we see that it's a name not intended for cataloging, but it has historical significance. Um, for the most part, these are misspellings, but they are found in publications and therefore they can be helpful in search. All of them have to be linked to a valid name. It does prevent you from adding that as an identification to a catalog record. We now have 14 sources that can be used for the classifications in the taxonomy that is used to identify the objects in your collection. And if needed, we can add more as we add more collections that have different needs. Most of these are managed by Arctos users. Some of them, such as Worms via Arctos, are managed by an external source, in this case, the World Register of Marine Species. This has been an overview of the structure of the taxonomy name pages, and other tutorials will show more about how to manage taxonomy.